Okay, example 8. This one is in 2D collision. Tadi tu di atas tu 1D collision. Okay, so a tennis ball of my mass M1 is moving with initial velocity U1 collides with a soccer ball of mass M2 initially at rest. So we know that U2 punya initial velocity is 0. Uh, and then the sorry <clears throat> after the collision the tennis ball is deflected 50 degree from its initial direction with a velocity of okay it's shown here v1 okay suppose that m1 is 250 gram which is 0 0.25 kilogram and then we have m2 which is 0 0.9 kilogram 0 0.9 kilogram and then initial velocity of mass 1 is 20 meter per second and then we also have the final velocity of ball 1 which is 4 meter per second calculate the magnitude and direction of the soccer ball after the collision so we are looking at m2 we have to find the magnitude and direction of this soccer ball after the collision okay so uh what else do we have that's basically the information that we have right okay now we can look at it using the uh principle of conservation of linear momentum which is total of total initial momentum is equal to the total final momentum okay so now we have to look at this at the x and y component okay so at x component we have p initial at x component so we have m1 u1 x plus m2 u2 x x means in the x component huh? m1 v1 x plus m2 v2 x okay so u1 x the plus 2 u2 x is for this ball and then we know that the collision point we still have to see the final velocity of v1 in the x direction as well as this one in the x direction lah okay so substitute um, 0 0.25 20 plus 0 0 0.25 so v1 is v1 cos cos uh, 50 degree plus m2 which is 0 0.9 and then this is what we are looking for so rearrange and you'll get the soccer ball punya velocity in the x component to be 4.84 meter per second okay so if you're all confused you can just kind of draw something like this so that you know the 50 degree is let me just do it here Okay, so our v1 is this one and then the 50 degree is here okay so we are looking at v1 y v1 x okay okay now we can look at the y component pula. so for the y component uh, let me do here y component okay so y component total momentum initial just the same thing so we have m1 eh, sorry so initially at the y component for this one for at this point semua masih the horizontal component kan so we can just let this equal to zero okay boleh and then m1 v1 y plus dengan m2 v2 y okay so we then have 0 equal to 0 0.25 negative 4 sine 50 degree negative 4 sine 50 degree and then uh, plus 0 0.9 v2 y so you'll then get v2 y is 0 0.851 meter per second okay 
so why did I put negative 4 here negative 4 sine 50 is because we we can see that the uh, use this one we can see that this velocity for mass 1 is pointing downwards like this so that's why this is negative 4 sine 50 degree lah okay okay so yang v2x dengan v2y ni we cannot see it in the diagram okay in this figure here we have to we have that's why we have to calculate it based on this mass m1 ja. okay we have to consider the direction untuk velocity after fi the final velocity of the ms m1 here mass 1 okay so this does not end here we then have to find the magnitude so the magnitude is square root of v2x square plus v2y square you'll then get the magnitude to be equal to 4.91 meter per second and then you have to find the direction which is shift tangent v2y over v2x okay then you'll get the theta to be equal to 9.97 degree okay so that is example number eight again if you are confused just let me know in and message me in telegram lah okay so that is question example eight